This morning, we are kicking off Native American Indian Heritage Month with a look at a new book exploring ideas on how indigenous knowledge can enrich and also coexist with Western scientific knowledge. Yes, we have author Monique Gray Smith joining us live this morning to talk about her new book. It's called Braiding Sweetgrass for Young Adults. Monique, thanks for being with us here. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you for having me this morning. Yeah, we have the book right here. It's it's such a beautiful book. The illustration so mm. beautiful. We know that Braiding Sweetgrass, uh, the original, was a huge hit. Uh, and now you're adapting it for younger audiences. Can you share with us a little bit about why? For sure. I think that young adults and also young at heart are looking for ways to understand how do we care for ourselves, to care for each other, care for the earth, care for all living beings. And braiding sweetgrass for young adults is one of those tools that will help them to navigate a path forward for themselves, for each other, and for our planet. Monique, what kind of response have you gotten when you speak with young people about it? Well, today is the first day it's in the world. So, you know, the prelude and the conversations in advance have been very exciting by young people and again by young at heart and by educators about another tool to support and deepen the understanding, yes, of us as Indigenous people, our relationships with the land, with the water, with all living beings. So there's much excitement about the book coming into the world today. Because there is, Monique, still so much that we can learn um, about our Native people in our community here. And this book is, is sort of one way of doing that, mixing all the knowledge that we have, or a lot of the knowledge that we have with sort of um, Western technology and medicine with the, all the knowledge and history that we have with our native population. And the wisdom for sure. And right. I think that's part of why, you know, through Understand Native Minnesota, it's the campaign that's brought me in through Shakopee, Metawankan, Sioux community to be part of helping to raise awareness around the importance of having relationships with and understanding Indigenous people here in Minnesota and really throughout the United States of America. Mm -hmm. And it's a tool that can be used in K-12 systems with educators, with young people, with learners, but also I think with families around the dinner table mm. looking to deepen their understanding and knowledge that might not have happened at dinner tables before. So for me, that's very exciting. Mm -hmm. you, you say that love is medicine. I'm curious, what, what does that mean to you? Well, I think, you know, in these times in our world where there's so much discombobulation and, and perhaps even hatred at times, that love for ourselves, for each other, for the planet, for all living beings, is a path forward. When we care and when we give love, it actually changes the brain so that it lowers that stress hormone of cortisol, which we've seen so present, especially the last three years that it allows the cortisol to go down and these chemicals called oxytocin and dopamine to go up, which help us to feel better, to feel kinder, to feel more open to understanding different ways of knowing and being and living in the world. Hmm. And I think that's why braiding sweetgrass for young adults is important right now, because it is going to help us understand. And one of the things we know is that when we go outside, especially in the forest or along the river, and we smell the earth, actually in our brain that love is induced and the stress hormone goes down mm -hmm. and the love hormones go up which is why we always feel better after we've been outside right. it's such a, it's such a beautiful way to look at it yeah. too you mentioned the shakopee midwakatan sioux community uh your your book tour being supported by of course their understanding native minnesota initiative so you'll be here in minnesota you're w talking to schools uh tell us about that Oh, I'm so excited and very grateful to be hosted by the Shakopee Mdewakanton Sioux community. I'll be in Minneapolis, the Twin City, or pardon me, St. Paul, Apple Valley, Shakopee, in schools for the next three days, and then also Wednesday evening doing a public event at the Bell Museum. And I'm I just feel incredibly honored to be here. Monique, thank you so much for your time for spending just a couple of minutes to speak with us this morning. We really appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you.